Hi, I'm Wendell Odom, and Cisco Press asked me to record a short video talking a bit about Cisco's new certification changes that they announced in June 2019 and that will become active in February 2020. And if you haven't heard, the amount of change is amazing. It's huge. Uh, close to 40 courses changing, all the certs changing in some way. Uh, so before you get all freaky about that, just know that we've got eight months from announcement until all this changes. And it's actually a very positive change in a lot of different ways. So take a breath, know that Cisco Press and Cisco, they, they really do have your back on this. Cisco's doing a great job of communicating. So I just first encourage you to go to cisco.com slash go slash certifications. That's their long time launch point for all certification info. Uh, come to ciscopress.com and you'll see updates about new uh, study products coming for the new exams starting in February, but you've got eight months to stay the course and finish your certifications that you're working on now. So a lot of good news with how Cisco has built this transition, uh, but Cisco Press asked me to pick a couple of points and emphasize those, and, I, and I've picked two. So the first one of those is that your credentials are improved. So by credential, I mean if you get your CCNA routing and switching certification, that's your credential, your certification. So here's the deal. If you have a certification now, or if you get it before transition day, February 24th, 2020, you have that for its full duration. Say your uh, CCNA route switch is active and certified through uh, somewhere in the year 2021 or 2022, you keep that. That doesn't change come transition day. However, on transition day, you'll also be awarded the new matching certification credential. And in the new world for CCNA, for instance, there's one CCNA called simply CCNA. So you'd have that in addition to CCNA route switch. For many of the certifications, you'd have a new certification plus something called a training badge or a specialty certification. Uh, so Cisco's got all this stuff on their website with more info coming on the badges. Point being, your current certifications stick around, you'll be awarded new ones, and there'll be a transition plan for that. So you actually end up net better a bit on certifications. Uh, then just to pick one, the, the CCNP consolidates from eight professional tracks down to five, with the new CCNP Enterprise replacing CCNP Route Switch come February 2020. Now here we sit, I'm recording this in June 2019 with eight months to go till that transition day. Uh, well, there's plenty of time to make progress on whatever certification you're working on. But just for some perspective, CCNP Enterprise has what's called a core exam that everybody has to pass. And if you were to look at the blueprint, you'd see a lot of familiar topics if you are aware of all of Cisco's current certifications. So if you happen to say already have my CCNA route switch cert guides, and maybe you're in the middle of studying for CCNP route switch, so you already have some study materials for CCNP route and switch. Well, you could study for about half of the CCNP Enterprise core exam. That'll be out in February. Now, with those existing study tools, just by looking at the blueprints and saying, oh, look, there's OSPF, there's BGP, there's Spanning Tree, et cetera, et cetera, and pretty easily pick which chapters you can look for. So point being, keep studying, keep learning. What you're learning will apply to some new certification and in all likelihood. Uh, I'll be blogging about that, so you can check out my blog. You can find me on Twitter at, at Wendell Odom. You can find Cisco Press at, at Cisco Press. And uh, we will continue to talk to you about this transition and help you through it. And I hope you get as excited about it as I am. I think it's a wonderful change with a lot of positive effects for all of us. Thanks for listening.